So we've been off grid for five years now. And one of the things I wanted to have done was to be able to pump from my lower pond to the pond up behind the house. The hardest part about this is that it was about 850 feet away and I still wanted to do this off solar. So I contacted Dan Koff and I wound up getting one of their solar force piston pumps, which is really made to pump against high head pressure. One of the neat things about this is that off just a couple solar panels, even with this long run and some small pipe that was already installed, we're still able to get about 10 gallons a minute. I currently already have a Dankoff Sun Centric pump that pumps from my lowest pond up to the middle pond, which is really the primary one, and does a recirculation of about 35 gallons a minute off a couple, couple solar panels. This allows me to catch all the water that leaks through underneath the dam because it's fractured soil, somebody else had put this in, and keep the middle pond full. Really the hardest part of this project was just getting down the hill and staying on my two feet. One of the nice things about having this uncentric running, not only the sound, was that I had water right there to mix concrete, clean all my tools. I started by building a frame out of some two by fours. And I also made a quick template that matched the pump so that I could align the two pieces together. At least so that way I made sure I had the pump in the right location. I mixed up a few sacks of concrete. Forgot my mask though. Hope I don't get in trouble for that. My objective here was to pour one layer of concrete and then use the new Makita vibrator that I got for the concrete walls I'm trying to figure out how to build and then put a layer of mesh in there. The Dankoff Solar Force piston pump has quite a bit of vibration so I was trying to make the pad as strong as possible. So I smoothed it out, put the mesh in there and then mixed up another layer of concrete. As I try to make better YouTube videos, I'm really trying to get better camera views and better audio. And this is really my first attempt at making a full video like this. So there you can see, there's a second layer of concrete. And there's the Vaquita vibrator again. I think I was just doing this more for fun than anything, but it couldn't hurt. I used a stake just to smooth it out and level it as, as good as I thought I needed to. Again, this is just a quick slab. I threw a quick trowel on it. That's actually one of the things I don't have very much of is concrete tools, but I'm sure that's gonna be changing here in the future. Here you can see the, the quick template I made that matched the pump base. This allowed me to set my concrete bolts, which were just some old carriage bolts that I had laying around in the concrete. I'm not too sure if this is the right way to do this. I guess I should have watched a YouTube video first. I threw a quick tape measure on it, aligned it with the, the lines that I had put in my, my little concrete forms. And then in the meantime, I took the extra concrete I had and made a quick spillway. I knew that I was going to have some water run off here, 
So I thought I could use that to, tr to minimize my erosion. And it gave me something to do while I was waiting for the concrete to set up a little bit. I removed the template for the pump after realizing that it had settled quite a bit and I had a little bit of a low spot. So I took and pushed a little bit of the concrete, smoothed it around, raised it up so that at least it would sit as flat as possible. All in all, it turned out pretty good. And I ran this for the whole time until I pumped the pump dry and I didn't have any cracking and the bolts remained tight. So all in all, I'd say it worked out pretty good. Came back for one final trowel and to roll all the edges over because why not make it look as good as possible. Then after making myself walk away, because I have a tendency to overdo my concrete work, I placed the template back on to try to hold the bolts in alignment. I was really worried that these things were going to settle, but again, they worked out pretty good in the end, and I can't think of anything I really would have done much different. One of my favorite parts when one of these projects is done is thinking about what I would have done different and then getting to pull out the drone. I recently had bought a new drone, the DJI Spark, and this was a great time to see what kind of video we could get of it. Here you can see the length of the pond with the array that we built, which is also gonna double as a telecom array now that the pond's dry. All in all, this pad only took me a couple hours to make. I should have gotten this thing done sooner and I would have been able to put a lot more water in the pond. You can see the trench that we put in and the pond is back up behind the house. Here's a little overview of our little area in Northern California. We call the Bald Hills. Have a great day and thanks for watching. Hope you like this series.